In this video, I will be talking about different types of tornadoes and shapes they can form into. Rope tornadoes are very thin and ropey tornadoes that are often very weak. Most tornadoes begin and or end in a rope form. Many tornadoes never even leave this stage. Tornadoes that are a rope for their entire lifespan usually do not last very long. If you see a rope tornado that looks small and weak, don't just pull out your phone and start recording, as any tornado can be very dangerous and cause severe damage. Cone tornadoes are probably what you picture when you think of tornadoes. They're usually much narrower where they touch the ground than where they connect to the parent storm. These are often much more dangerous than rope tornadoes because they are wider and usually have higher winds. Wedge tornadoes are often very violent tornadoes and can have paths of over two and a half miles wide and winds of over 300 miles per hour. They are called wedges because they have a wedge shape, being wider than they are tall. Tornadoes like Joplin, Moore, Greensburg, and Xenia were wedges. Wedges are fairly rare, only happening a dozen times during tornado season on average. Stovepipes are medium-sized tornadoes and are the same width from the ground to the cloud base. Despite their size, these tornadoes can have very high winds. Multi-vortex tornadoes are usually the most dangerous and devastating types of tornadoes. As the name suggests, multi-vortex tornadoes are tornadoes with multiple vortices. These sub-vortices can revolve around, inside, and as part of the main vortex. Joplin, El Reno, and Gerald are some notable examples of multi-vortex tornadoes. Rain wrap tornadoes are also very dangerous because of rain obscuring vision of the tornado. A mix of people waiting to see the tornado to take shelter and not being able to see the tornado until dangerously close makes these very deadly. These types of tornadoes occur when there is a thunderstorm and an extremely high moisture content in the atmosphere. Joplin was a very well known rain wrap tornado. Grill bits are a relatively small tornado that has unusually high winds. They usually happen when the parent storm moves through high wind areas, such as valleys, coastal plains, and mountains. Drill bits are a good reason why no matter the size, you should always take shelter in the case of a tornado. Satellite tornadoes are somewhat rare, and are usually associated with powerful and strong tornadoes. They are not considered subvortices, but rather as a separate tornado. The cause of satellite tornadoes is still unknown. These tornadoes are relatively weak most of the time, but can still sometimes be very strong. Like on April 9, 2011, when an EF3 in Iowa spawned a satellite tornado that was rated an EF4. I hope you guys learned something from this video, and please consider subscribing so you can learn more about weather phenomena on my channel.